Robert Chus here from Bluestone Nutraceuticals. Welcome back to this week's Faster Fat Loss Workout. Today, we've got a 20 minute full body, follow along, no equipment needed workout. So if you're here to follow along, hit that like button and let's get started. Now, just like with every great workout, we need a great warm up. I'm already warmed up, but we do have a great seven minute full body warm up video in the description below. So if you need to pause this video, check out that workout, warm up nicely, make sure that you're really well prepared, warmed up both physically and mentally, and you've got some water or amino fast and a towel at hand, then watch that, come back to this video. With that being said, we've got four rounds for 20 minutes. The first exercise is gonna be seated Russian twists. So let's get into position and we'll get started in three, two, one. For this, I like to keep my feet elevated. We're just gonna tap down either side, keeping our hips fixed, keep the legs and feet elevated to really engage the lower abdominals. We're just tapping down towards our waist either side, get a full rotation, leading with the elbows. Round one, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we're gonna build up the intensity. Breathing, cadence, really important within these workouts. I'm big on breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and we're gonna exhale, for the most part, on the effort. Like I said, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Round two, that's gonna increase to 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We've got some push-ups. We're gonna start off hard. I'll show you some regressions later on and even some progressions. So, this is more of a marathon than a sprint, so don't feel the need to spring up and down as quickly as possible. I like to have a rep range in mind, maybe 10. I'm trying to get to those 10 and see how many more I can push out before that timer. Squeeze through the top. Some light shoulder rotations, just a bit of active recovery. Again, focus on the breathing, control your heart rate. We've got some Supermans next. Some lower back, really working on that lower lumbar region. Some upper back and shoulders as well with that extension. So let's get into position. For me, I like to do my hands and feet at the same time. So elevate it off. Feet and hands. Don't need to go too high, just about four to six inches off, keeping the feet together and just simultaneously raise them. Oh, those 30 seconds go by pretty quick, but remember, we've got three more rounds. Each round, we're gonna increase the amount of time needed for exercise and therefore decrease our recovery. So, pace yourself. This is about muscular endurance, being able to finish strong at the end. Ah, next up, prison squats, hands behind the head, slightly interlock the fingers, but don't push down with the head. And try and keep your body upright, elbows out, keeping your shoulders back, your chest elevated, and still sit down into that squat. As you can see from the side, my hips are coming back as though I'm sitting down onto a chair behind me and therefore not pushing my knees out in front. Don't do this. See my knees going forwards? Hips back. Sit down, push up. That's a challenging one. Hands behind the head, keeping the elbows up. It's more body weight up above high, keeping our quads to do all of that press work. Whew. We've got a challenging one coming up next. Shoulder tap plank. So we're into a plank like this on the floor. Come on, we got this. Let's see through the end of round one on a high. Again, we don't need to go too fast with this. The key is to keep your hips 
fixed. So try not to be rotating too much like this. Keep everything as though you're doing a standard plank. My feet are a little bit wider. We're gonna be at the end of round one before you know it. Great job. Round one. Wasn't too hard, but we got round two. And like I said, those 30 seconds now become 40 seconds of work with only 20 seconds of rest. So make sure you're well hydrated. Make sure you've got a towel handy because we are going to sweat on this one. And let's get ready for round two. Back with those Russian twists. Feet up. Again, tap, tap. Keep my abdominals engaged. Nice and tight abs. We can at least through. We can at least see through the end of round two without any stops. So challenge yourself to get that far. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Push ups next. If you need to, get hydrated. Come back down. Like I said, full extension. Think about how you normally perform push ups. Maybe you get 10, 15. That's what I think about. Not the time. Let me get some really well performed reps. Really feeling the chest. Not simply just going through the motion to try and get through to the end of the time. Be mindful when you train. Think about the exercise, the muscle you've been working. Five more. Three, two, one. We've got Superman's next. At this point, you're gonna to start to feel it. Feel the work that you're putting in. Make it work for you. Get ready for Superman's. Go down on the floor, arms up for extension. <clears throat> now, the goal is to be controlled with these. So, don't just throw the hands up like this. Control it at the top. Pause and down. That's the Superman. We're not just flapping our wings here, or like a fish out of water. Although with this turf, Kind of feels like I'm in the water right now. Get Keep strong. Hands and feet up. Feel that lower back. Keep the abs tight. Only 20 seconds, it's shorter rest time. We've got those prison squats coming in. Glutes, quads, hamstrings. Remember, sit back. And down, keep the shoulders back. Let's get it. Now when you push up, I want you to really think about pushing your feet through the ground. Don't just think about writing yourself upright with your legs. Push. That's how you really get those muscles involved and working. We're not just standing up. Really try and push your feet as though you're pushing them through the ground. Get ready for rest. Almost there. Rest. So at this point, you start to notice your heart rate, your breathing become more deeper. Get ready for shoulder tap play. More ab work here. Let's get down into that plank position. Tap, hand back down. Tap, hand back down. Keep those hips fixed. Now 
abdominals pull in tight. Listen, you're putting in the work. You've already done 50% of the work right now. Just keep going. Keep pushing through. Do one rep after the next. You know, I want to share a little old adage with you. Successful journey starts with one rest. successful step followed by another successful step. That's what we're doing. One rep followed by another rep, making them count. And before you know it, those 40 seconds of work are over. Let's start to pick up that intensity now. Let's put that work in back to round three. This time, 50 seconds of work. Now, I want to show two versions. One, we already know that we can keep our feet up. So start with that. Make it more challenging. Because if, when you need to, I'll show you a regression to still work the abs, but lighten that load, lighten the intensity just a bit be able to keep pushing through. This is intense. So all that core work, the abdominal work, big twists, leading with the elbows, nice big full rotation. Now, if you take short rests, do it only for a few seconds. Then keep the feet down, lean back still to engage the abs and continue with those taps. You got this, come on, a few seconds left. Oh, that's it. But now we only have shorter rest time, just 10 seconds. So, get your breathing back in check. We've got push-ups. Now I'm gonna start off with those full range of motions again. Let's get at least 10, really working the chest, getting the triceps and shoulders involved as well. Now, if you can keep pushing through with this, keep going. If you need a rest, here's another regression. Be on your knees, keep the feet elevated. We're still working the chest, but a little less weight and effort needed now to push back up. But at this point, our heart rate is up, metabolism is fine. See you through. It's gonna be worth it. It may not seem like that right now, but this is the work that's gonna get you where you wanna be. Back to those supermans. Hands and feet. Just elevate up. Long arms, long legs. Almost there. This is the challenging part. It's doing things that we don't always want to do. We're not comfortable with doing them. Gets us out of our comfort zone. That's where we start to see change. We've got to become comfortable with doing the uncomfortable part. And for me, Superman's one of those movements. Not my favorite, but I'll do it. I'll get it done. Prison squats, right into them. Hands at the back. Sit down into it. Finish strong with your hips coming up, pushing forwards. Remember, we're not pushing forwards with our head. Just keep fingers light if you're at the side of the head or gently cross at the back. 20 seconds left. I want to reiterate again, be mindful with the muscles that we're training. The quads. We're pushing our legs through the floor and we're engaging, flexing and squeezing the quads up the top. We've got one more left for the end of round three. We're going to see it all the way through for our fourth and final round. Shoulder tap pants. Let's see what we've got. We're going to start off full length. Get the core working again. Tap. 
and come up, tap, back down. We're not going as quickly as possible. You can if you've got that endurance. But I like to save this. And next time I do this routine, push myself a little bit more. I want to make sure that I can get through all rounds without stopping. Once I can do that, just like in the weight room, you start to increase the weight. You start to increase your tempo. Now, if you need to, drop down onto your knees, bring your hands forwards a little bit, less pressure and effort needed now, but we can still tap. Still working the abs, still keeping tight. One more round left. We've got five minutes, one minute each exercise, no rest. You ready? Let's do it. I'm gonna start with my feet raised, tap and tap. Look, big, sweeping movements with my elbows. You really wanna engage the oblique muscles. The V formation gives us that really nice, coveted like V formation in the abs. It's rotations like this, it's gonna help us get there. Now, need a few seconds rest, take it. I'd much rather you keep great form and execute each exercise effectively than start to become sluggish. Probably noticed, I'm talking all the way through. A lot of cardiovascular. My body's telling me, I'm sweating. My breathing is becoming deeper and heavier. But look, we're still doing the work. Push-ups next. Let's turn around. Let's do at least 10 full length. One. Two, match me with this. Let's get 10. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, one. That's about halfway. If you can, pick it back up, do 10 more. Otherwise, drop down onto your knees and you immediately get back into that push position. 20 seconds to go. Come on, let's stay strong here. chest is burning even if you're near the end still try for those final three or four reps superman. we've got superman's full extension let's get the arm up great exercise for the lower back it's important we work the lower back with the core working our abs and that lower back, opposing muscle groups. Keeps us strong and balanced. Long arms, let's really stretch out. More tension. Almost there. We've got about 15 left. Seconds, come on. Keep pushing. You got this. See it through. Four. Okay, we're back. Prison squats. Get in position. Hands at the back. There it is. Sweat. It's our body's internal combustion engine telling us that our body is heating up. That heat is a byproduct of our energy. Body's having to work, burning fuel just like a car, going faster, except the fuel this time is body fat. So if you're hurting, if you're burning, if you're sweating, just know that that's your body's way of letting you know that you're using body fat as its preferred fuel source to get through this workout. Almost there. Let's get a few more. Final minute. Let's go. Let's get at least 10 on each. One. One. 
two, two. We're so close. Everything you got now, dig deep. Remember your goal. What is it that you're working for? You need refresh. We're gonna go right back in. Full length. Let's finish strong. Team Blue Star. Come on. Say it out loud. I got this. Final 10. What have you got left? Can you pick up the pace? Double time. Three. Two, one. That is it. Woo. As you can see, we are working here at Blue Star. We're putting in the work. We're creating these faster fat loss programs for you guys to follow along. So let me know what you think about these follow along workouts. Are you able to at least match me? Are you doing more? Are you not quite there yet? Let me know. Drop me a comment in the video below. As always, check out all of the exercises and that warm up I talked about at the beginning of this video. We'll list it all in the video description. On that note, I thank you for joining me. Let's keep strong, let's keep pushing it forwards for the next workout. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. We've got new videos uploading every week and I don't want you to miss a single one. Listen, pat yourself on the back, go hydrate, grab yourself a nice and smooth, and I'll catch you on our next video. Hold well on.